What's up, what's up? Welcome to Illust RC. I'm your host, Alexis G. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and do box art, which is the yellow. And uh, since this is my first Tamaya kit, I just went ahead and, and wanted to do box art. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it calls for PS6 yellow. I'm going to back it with white. And then I'm going to back it with black after that. And then I'm going to do the windows and smoke P31. So those are the colors. And uh, I'm also going to do the mirrors, yellow like the box art, even though I've seen some cars, that uh, real cars, that had black mirrors. I'm going to go ahead and do yellow. And uh, so I'm going to cut this out. And I bought some tools. I bought these uh, body cutting curved scissors and um, the body hole reamer tool. Uh, got those in, as well as some uh, magnetic body mounts. I'm going to try these out. It's not going to be a lot of impact involved, so we're going to be doing mostly drifting, so the body magnets should suffice. All right, well, up next, I'm going to start cutting out the body. All right, well, I got the body done. Now, um, I found that the scissors that I bought didn't really go like deep enough in here. So what I end up having to do is get a Dremel tool or a little sanding barrel on it or whatever and just kind of go around and, and smooth out the rough stuff that the scissors left. Kind of went a little sharp on these edges so I had to kind of like, cut a little into the corner. So <laughs> whatever, it doesn't matter, it's not perfect. I, I have to uh, ream these little four millimeter holes for the, for the uh, rear view mirrors. I'm also not going to uh, obviously put the holes in for the uh, body post because I'm going magnetic body mounts. So up next, I'm going to be uh, cutting out the window masks. And I'm also gonna probably attempt to try to make masks for the front headlights and the rear, rear taillights. Uh, decals are gonna go over them because you know, it has the decals for the, the headlights and the taillights here, but I intend to try to make it have light up lights. So I'm gonna order some light buckets Hopefully I can get a hold of those, and if I can get a hold of those, I'll just pull the stickers off, retrofit the light buckets in there, and buy a little LED kit to work. Um, okay, so up next, I'm gonna be cutting these bad boys out. As you can see, I finished the masking. I went ahead and uh, had some leftover, so I made uh, masks for the, uh, the front headlights. And then I made some out of an old bumper sticker for the back tail lights. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit it on the uh, chassis. I'm gonna try to figure out how to use these little magnet body mounts. So let's get on that. It was still too high, a couple millimeters too high. So what I did was um, I took the original screw and I, I went ahead and uh, drilled it out a little bit and see if I can actually just screw it on now directly to the actual magnetic mount. Let's see. All right, voila, there she is. Uh, it looks like. Uh, back fits pretty even with the front so all is good the front mount are just screwed in there um, there's a chance it could go side to side but I'm not going to be really rough on this car now that that's done I'm going to go ahead and get to painting so I'm going to 
we can call it the fun part, but hopefully this masking behaves. I'm gonna try, I saw somebody that pressed down the masking between each coat just to make sure that the edges will always flush. I'm gonna wash the inside, wipe the inside of the body with some rubbing alcohol really good and get to, sh get to shooting. All right. party people got finished with the uh, spraying masking and all that good stuff um, tinted the windows also tinted the back tail light lenses left the front ones clear um, yeah only thing I can say is that um, I have to figure out a trick to get to like in the very creases and very maybe like a paintbrush dipped in the paint you know and kind of do those areas before I even start spraying. Um, also, I, I don't know if I got enough coverage with the white, and um, especially on these side panels, it's hard to kind of get the, the paint to go where you want it to go. But when I laid down, I was gonna lay down black underneath, and I did that, and it kind of went in places where the white paint didn't go. So that was annoying. <laughs> so I have a little bit of shadowing going on, but whatever, it's no big deal. Uh, I think next time I would just be more aware of that maybe I don't know I have an air we have an airbrush kit here so maybe I could use that to try to get into those nooks and cranny areas but overall I would say it's pretty good and that's why I dusted it over with white again afterward and then I went ahead and did the uh, the window tint last the smoke but uh all right here we go here's a cool part taking the clear Lexan film off so here we go This looks so much better. Like when I see the videos, I'm experiencing it for myself. And there she is, boys and girls. smoke is an adequate amount. Tint. I did two coats. Alright. Man, it looks beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. So up next, um, I have to cut out all the decals, and uh, a lot of the decals are for window trims and you know uh, signal lights and all that kind of stuff in the front to make it look more realistic. So uh, let's go ahead and get to that.
she is. All the decals are on. Um, <laughs> it was a pretty time consuming job, you know. But, and also, man, this, uh, this front sticker, this whole hood sticker was so big and it was hard to get lined up and I still didn't get lined up right. But, and then there's like bubbles in it and there's wrinkles in it and whatever, you know. And it looks okay from far away, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it definitely adds a whole lot of more uh, scale realism to it, having all the decals on. The last step is going to be mounting it on the body. So here's the magnetic clips that I put on before. So it's going to sit something like. Hopefully it's not too low. It doesn't matter if it is. I can always uh, double up on it. I'm just going to put some double-sided tape. And if I need to stack more, a little more to get it higher up, I'll do that as well. See if the front tires rub or not. Bodies on, wheels don't rub. I may put some, um, attach these magnets with um, some epoxy or some shoe goo or something to the body because I don't think the double stick tape is actually uh, holding on. This one keeps on coming off. So, <laughs> but overall, it's cool, man. Yep, yep, yep. Well, my first Tamiya kit is complete. Came out pretty cool. I uh, love the car. The stickers were a pain. You know how it goes, but uh, body fits nice and low. Thanks for watching my, my adventure and my little build series on this cool car. Uh, hopefully, this won't be the last. I'll probably be posting some more stuff eventually. I'm going to be posting uh, when the parts come in. Uh, if I do the light buckets and the light kit, and also. Um, I'm going to do the uh, wide angle steering and two wheel, this is four wheel right now, stock. I'm gonna do a, a rear wheel conversion on it, so, uh, and uh, I have a gyro for it and everything already, so. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.